Hey guys, this is Hang Van Gogh. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I have my friend Lauren Bantit here with me. She let me use her canvas to create another makeup look for you. Her husband taking off tonight. So I do this quite heavy traumatic look. I hope you guys like the video. I hope you give the channel a lot of love. Subscribe to the channel, give us a thumb up and don't forget to follow us on Instagram as well. Thank you so much again for watching. For the look I'm doing today for my friend Lauren is that I'm going to give her quite a dark smoky eye, mainly on the upper part here because I'm trying to darken this area. I think it's great for someone who have hooded eye. Lauren eyebrow, you see it's a little shorter. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to try to extend a little longer in the inside, a little outside here. And I'm going to show you the whole process how I'm going to do that. But first, before skincare, I would like to trim the eyebrow a little bit, some of the length here before I do the skincare because I don't want to get all the little hair fall on the skin when I do the skincare. I'm going to show you how you do this, but some of you, of course, know how to do this. I'm going to use a little scissor like this from Tweezerman and a little spoolie. The best way, just lift it up and you trim whatever length of the long, the long hair on the top here. The reason I'm doing this because I don't want the hair there look too dense because when it's so dense, you draw them, it will look really dark. I'm trying to do this a little lighter in here and longer here. I'm going to cheat the eyebrow up. So I'm going to make them a little longer. I gave Lauren a little lesson the other day about the eyebrow. So that's why I'm trying to show this on camera. The best way you just trim this up and trim a little more. Just any little long hair there. And you can see that so it doesn't look as dense as that before you draw it. I'm going to do the same on the other side. So just like that, I trim both sides for the eyebrow to look less dense before I do the eyebrow later. For every makeup look, I only prep the skin with skincare first. First one I put on is some lip balm. All the skincare for serum and eye cream and moisturizer I'm using is from So Washu. It is a beautiful Korean skincare brand. For serum, Lauren looks nervous right now. <laughs> <laughs> is that your first time like sitting in front of the camera? <laughs> and you just press the skincare on. It is so important to take care of the skin with the skincare first before you do makeup. The makeup gonna go on really beautiful on the skin after. The next product I'm using is the eye cream. And one misconception that people have about eye cream is that they don't want to put eye cream before makeup because they're afraid the makeup gonna run. Close your eye. But I believe that it's better to prep the skin that area really well because that's where you're gonna put a lot of makeup, you know, like eyeshadow liner. And then if you put eye cream, you can always blot down all the extra moisture instead of putting nothing there and the skin very dry and flaked. That's why you create all the line around here when you wear makeup. The moisturizer is also from Sowashu. This is a very beautiful moisturizer that I use for day or night or under makeup. None of these products are sponsored. I just like the product. That's why I'm using it. So if you wonder why I'm using all the same brand. And always give the face a little massage.
a lot of people asking me is that better to do the foundation right after you do the skincare it's really personal preference depend on the skin as well uh, I usually like to wait a few minutes before I put the foundation on I like the moisturizer really absorb into the skin first but if you don't have a lot of time you can always have a tissue like this and you blot any kind of excess moisture before you put your foundation on if you don't want the skin overly shiny and that's the best way you can do look up for me for the foundation and concealer today i'm using the shea and illuminate foundation from tom ford the concealer i usually use two different shades light on the eye and then the shade that matching the foundation i use everywhere else lauren had really beautiful skin just a tiny bit of pigmentation so i don't want to overly cover her skin too much with the foundation concealer but then again we are planning to do a full face makeup today on lauren <laughs> so that's why i just want to play them a little bit i use a little more than what you think just for that reason yeah and i use a buffing brush just blend it out Turn this way for me. Close your eye. For the lighter concealer, I'm using a little bit under the eye area. This is, close your eye, this is a great concealer brush from Rose Ink. They really pressed the product into the skin. It's hugging the shape, the corner here really well. Look up for me. Okay. And as I mentioned earlier, I purposely chose the concealer shade a little bit lighter than the foundation just for the brightness under the eye that I'm trying to create. A little bit on the bridge of the nose for the darker concealer I'm using mainly around the nose here around the mouth and anywhere that have more pigmentation that I need to cover for Lauren I'm going to use a Chanel cream bronzer just to shade around the face a little bit I'm not gonna do any much on the top of the forehead here uh, I'm gonna leave the way it is I don't want to close the forehead any more than this and then I just use the bronzer just mostly around the jawline the cheekbone very tiny bit not too much For loose powder, I'm using some loose powder from Chanel as well, mainly under the eye. And the T-zone area. 
close the eye line. I want to keep the skin really matte for now to shade the face a little more and to set as well for the contour I used earlier I'm using this bronzer from Trish McEvoy this is a bronzer but actually come in two different colors one a little darker a little lighter and you can actually just use them both if you like you know the certain area I'm going to use for the lighter shade and then maybe around the jaw I use them a little darker and I do a little bit around the nose for Lauren, I don't want to do anything like contour too heavy on the nose because I don't think she needs it. And I think, you know, it's not as wearable as much. I, I want to do a strong look for Lauren today, but her husband take her out for a nice dinner tonight. And I don't want him to look at her and say, oh my God, he overly contoured your face. And I still want him to look at her face like a full beat, but natural still. For eyebrow, I'm going to use two different products. The first one is going to be a brow whisk from Anastasia. It's like a brow pencil. And the second one is like a brow marker. It's a brow pen. Now I'm going to draw some individual hair. And you can see lower and eyebrow, the length a little bit different in each other. So I'm going to try to match them almost the same. And for someone at home, if you your eyebrow like this, the best way you can cheat is this is not exactly is the guy for everyone, but it's pretty close. Is from here to here, your eyebrow should stop somewhere there. And for the front, your eyebrow should stop somewhere there. So the corner of the eye here, and then the diagonal corner of the eye. That's where you should stop. I'm gonna cheat the eyebrow a little bit to keep Lauren a bit more lifted eyebrow in the back here. So I'm gonna do you can see her eyebrow naturally going down. I'm gonna draw them on top a little bit. And then you see from there here, that's where I should stop. And what I'm going to do next, if the inner part, you see here, I go backwards a little bit. a little more and then what you're gonna do you're gonna use the brow pen to fake a few individual hair And it's something like that personally I would go a little lighter shade but because Lauren hair right here is so dense that 
if I do a lighter shade, it's gonna see too much of the demarcation from the light and the dark color. That's why I use a medium brown color. But I think it would be look amazing if it is a light brown. Like if it's for an editor, not everyday use, I even try to lighten with bleach the eyebrow like a shade or two. And then I draw it, the eye look even more softer. But this is for someone I want Lauren to able to do at home. After watching this, that's why I use the color like the way her eyebrow is. <laughs> uh, okay, so as you can see that, I just put a few fake hair there. And I'm gonna do the same on the other side. So it could be something like that. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a color brow gel to gel it up as well. I'm using a little lighter and warmer. Close your eye, honey. And I'm just gonna try to lighten the hair a little bit and lift it up a little bit as well. Same on the other side. For eyeshadow, before I do eyeshadow, I'm gonna use some eye primer. And this eye primer is from Trish McEvoy. Close your eye for me. You can use the brush, the finger, however you like it. Just really, I just wanna coat a little layer before I do the eyeshadow. For eyeshadow, I'm going to use this new palette from Byredo. This is a palette they just came out, I think they came out in November, but I love the, the neutral and dark shade they have, so that's what I'm gonna use today. And the pencil is a black pencil from Pat McGrath Lab. Sorry, we just have like a short one, but that's the color I'm going to use. To start, I'm gonna use this shade right here. Close your eye for me. Just right along the lash line. For a second, let's see. Yeah, close. The color pretty dark, but because Lauren have more hooded eyes, so you can actually go quite intense on closer to the lash line and then when she look up let's see look straight out you can see that you don't see too much so it's okay you can do a little more like that close your eye i'm going to do the same on this side you can see i go pretty high up on the eyeshadow And don't worry how messy, how unblended the shadow right now because we're gonna use different shade and blend all those out. The next shade I'm gonna use is this shade right here. This one more like a satin finish, close for me. And then I just do to blend out the edges a little bit more. Next, you're gonna use a clean fluffy brush and just blend all the edges out. You're not gonna add any more color. You just basically blend it out so the edges look a lot more softer and not a harsh line. The eye I'm gonna do is pretty dark, smoky eye, but I still want the edges to be very diffused. 
as you can see right now no added color i just keep blending and it does give you that gradation of the light and the dark you can see just like that you just blend it out from a clean brush and then you do the same on this side Next, I'm going to use the black liner. I'm going to rim the whole waterline, upper and lower. Chin down a little for me and look up for me. I think this is going to tie the whole eyeshadow together. And it's really frame the eye shape area. And you look down for me. You can use the same technique with lighter color if you like. I just want Lauren to have quite dark, smoky eyes, so that's why I'm using these shades. But the whole idea, you can use just two eye shadow and you can create the look. Using the brush earlier that you use for the second color eye shadow, don't add any more color. whatever left in the brush, just soften the edges a little bit on the lower lash line here. So you use that to smoke the lower lashes. Look down for me. I'm gonna curl lower lashes before I put some mascara on. I think that the mascara and the liner are gonna tie up the eye look together. The mascara and what you use is the volume mascara from Sisley. This is a beautiful volumizing mascara. Look down for me. And I'm gonna use a few coats. I'm also gonna do two coats on the lower lashes. I wanna give on a lot of volume on the lashes. And this is a perfect mascara for it. Look down for me. So the eye, I did pretty strong. So what now I'm gonna use, and pretty matte, so what I'm gonna use for the blush, I'm using more a cream blush, and it's a little bit and just fade it out. And this is the new cream blush that I have from Rosing that come with the blush brush. It's beautiful texture. The blush is very, very pigmented. If you use them only a little bit, it's actually one of my favorite new cream blush out there. And I usually take a little bit off on my hand first before I apply on the cheek. On Lauren, I apply on the high up on the cheek here to get quite a beautiful lifted at the same time. I'm going to do the same on the other side. The blush is quite beautiful texture. It is a cream blush, but it's set like a little velvety matte texture. It's not overly creamy, so you don't have to worry about setting after if you don't want to. And it's totally good when you apply it after you powder. Because a lot of cream blush, you have to apply before powder, otherwise it doesn't blend well. This one you can do after powder. For highlighter, I'm going to use this highlighter from Laura Mercier. It's very, very sheer as well. And I just do a little bit on the cheekbone. The bridge of the nose. For lips, I'm going to use two products. I'm going to use this lip liner from Wayne Goss and this lipstick from Rose Ink. This is a choppy stick lipstick, but it is 
quite pigmented. It is more velvety matte texture. To start, I'm going to line Lauren's lips a little bit. With that lipstick, you don't really need to, but I always like to create a shape first on the lip before I apply lipstick. Smile for me. Oops. This lipstick is quite pigmented. You don't need too much because sanitary reason, I just scoop it out and do it. Slightly smile for me. And I'm used only a little bit. It's quite a beautiful shade, but I don't want to use too much on the lips. I just want Lauren to have a little hint of the color. To complete the look, I'm going to set the makeup with some setting spray from our class. Close your eye, Lauren. That's the look, guy. I hope Lauren likes the look. Uh, I'm just gonna, I mean, we play with the makeup, we do a quite dark on the eye. I thought it's just like a, a nice change for her to play it up with the makeup. I hope everyone will like the video. Give the channel a lot of love. And don't forget to subscribe, like the video. And don't forget to follow both Laura and I on Instagram as well. Thank you a lot for watching.